I was born in a tiny village in Ladakh. I have never thought of my childhood as harsh because we did not miss what we did not know. Ladakh is one of the coldest places on the planet. We don't have any fuels to heat our houses. And I thought this had to be changed. I'm Sonam Wangchuk. I'm an engineer and an eco-architect. I've been working on solar heated buildings for 33 years. While Ladakh does not have trees or oil, what it does have is sunshine and in abundance. I started using the sun that shines above our head to build using the earth. And then you get insulating blocks. Rice straw is a waste product in Punjab. It is mixed with the clay, which is abundant in the mountains, and then put on the machine. These blocks are left to dry, and then they become clay blocks that make insulated buildings which do not require any heating. The science used is very simple. The rays coming from the sun hit the wall, which is painted black, and black is the most absorptive color. So it gets trapped in the wall. This heat is released at night, and that keeps the people warm. During the winter, the south glazing receives all the sun. And in summer, the sun goes overhead. So these are warmest in winter and coolest in summer. We monitored these buildings over a whole winter. We found when it is minus 15 outdoors in January, these buildings stayed plus 15 These buildings don't have any emissions. They don't take any energy. In future, I hope that all buildings will be built climate responsive, zero energy, and carbon neutral. I want my students to live happily, but in harmony with nature, and to adopt what we call in Buddhism, right livelihood, samma ajib. I call this regenerative lifestyle.